Hey guys, it's this little cloth here, and today inside of this Monster Legends Guides video, this is basically a beginner's guide to food. So, I got a comment on one of my last videos asking me to make this, so that's why I'm making it. And if you have any video suggestions, definitely leave them down below in the comments, and I will definitely make those videos. So yeah, first of all, you are going to obviously need gold to make food, but when you first start the game, it has you making these blue lizard tails, and they kind of suck, and they take 30 seconds and you aren't gonna wanna make those on a daily basis because you're not gonna wanna log in every 30 seconds. Even the sweet peppers logging in every five minutes is a really big pain, so you're not gonna wanna do that. And then you're stuck between like sea grapes, fresh jungle peanuts, and red tiger nut. I started with sea grapes, and this is how I did it. So basically, you are going to want a panicin farm, and then you'll get plenty of gold. If you don't know what panicin farming is, it is when you get a bunch of these nature habitats, just make a ton of them, and then put panicins in all of them, and put these nature boosts on them, and level up those panicins evenly. So when you do that, you get like tons of gold per collection. You can get up to like 1 million. As you can see, I do have 1 billion right now, but that is because I started mythic farming and legendary farming. And that's what you are going to want to transfer over to once you're done panic and farming, once you have enough legendaries to do that. So let's get back to the food. So as I said, you should start with sea grapes if you have enough gold. And then what I did, I went straight to fresh jungle peanuts. Red tiger nuts are not worth it. Keep doing sea grapes until you can constantly do fresh jungle peanuts because red tiger nut is just not that good. And then I went to rainbow snow peas but you are going to want to stay at fresh jungle peanuts for quite a while because the jump from 15,000 gold per food to 75,000 gold per food is a big, big jump and you won't have enough gold to do that right away. And then I just went to jungle rockets and right now I actually do winged angel beans. I don't know if I'll ever be doing black lotus root. It's just, it costs so much and it's not really worth it. I have plenty of food right now. I have 49 million. That's way more than I'll ever need. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments. And you should also be doing the adventure map, by the way, because you get tons of food from that. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.